Victor Echo 3, Baker Lima Baker, Alpha Echo 5, November Whiskey. Uh, negative, did not hear the carrier, uh, at least not from where I'm located right now. Uh, but yeah, the band has been shifting a bit. It's kind of been riding the, uh, the roller coaster a little bit from where I'm at and uh, going up and down, which of course is yeah about normal for now. But uh, I'm, I'm going to conduct a little experiment here just for giggles. I'm, I'm going to turn the power down to one watt. And there's three, three watts, two watts, uh, one and a half watts, and this is now at one watt, one watt. Uh, Victor Echo 3, Baker Lima Baker, Alpha Echo 5, November Whiskey. Uh, do you still copy, David? Okay, Roger, David. I'm, I'm turning it back up here a little bit now. Uh, there's three, five, and actually I'm going to run uh, full t full tilt boogie here, which is a massive 10 watts at the moment. 10 watts now. Uh, uh, did the band pick uh, pick back up any now, David? Uh, Victor Echo three, Baker Lima Baker, Alpha Echo five, November whiskey. Uh, it, it's approximately 50 feet. I'll be honest with you. I haven't put the uh, the tape measure on it yet uh, because I know right around uh, you know, 52 feet is about what's recommended, and uh, plus or minus a couple of feet kind of gets you in that that weird uh, random length that you don't want to be running. Uh, but but it, all it is is uh, is a spool of uh, 24 gauge speaker wire from Radio Shack. A zip cord that's been split in half in uh, 150 50 foot length uh, thereabouts is the radiator and the other 50 foot length is the uh, counterpoise. Roger? Yeah, QSL, David, QSL. It's getting close. It's, um, oh golly here, let's see, what time do we have now? I'm still getting used to the switch back to uh, to non-daylight savings time here. Uh, it's uh, 4.37, and uh, it's, there's uh, the sun hadn't quite gone down yet, uh, but it, it won't be long here, probably within the next, uh, you know, 45 minutes to an hour, it's going to be getting pretty dark here, QSL. Yeah, it's 5.37 here, and it's been dark. QSL, David, I understand. It's uh, it's a ton of fun, and uh, I've had uh, my ticket now for about three years. Uh, I've been threatening to do it for years and years, and, and actually I've had good ham, uh, ham friends of mine that I've known, oh, back in my junior high school days, uh, back when I was a younger whippersnapper, oh, 25 years ago, uh, that were trying uh, then uh, to get me to do it. And uh, it's just I always had a struggle with the code, uh, but but now I find it ironic that the code requirement is no longer required. Uh, that I'm really, really, really wanting to learn that, and uh, slowly but surely I'm getting it. And uh, and now that I can actually play and uh, get on the band and, and stay excited about it, it, it's keeping me excited about getting that under my belt as well. And uh, but so yeah, I, I wish I'd done this a long time ago because I found out now that I'm uh, I'm having too much fun doing what I'm doing. Uh, Victor Echo 3, Bravo Lima Brava, Alpha Echo 5, November Whiskey. Back to you, David. <laughs> yes, sir. No, I know how that goes. Uh, trust me, I, I've, uh, as much as I hate to admit it, uh, I've, I've managed to drag into work late a couple of times myself because I was uh, up too late in uh, in the wee hours uh, having too much fun. 
Uh, that seems to be a common trait I've noticed amongst uh, most of the uh, the technical type folks I know and the uh, ham radio operators especially. Uh, it seems that we're naturally geared to be night owls for some reason. And uh, so, yeah, I can identify with exactly what you're saying, Roger. Well, the same situation must be going on with people in the high tech end, you know, with all the, uh, the iPads and the computers. We got a computer a while ago, but it crapped over. I, I've, I've been paying the server every month. I got to get it fixed up because I'm wasting money not using it. But it's not part of my life or the XYLs, but we could use it. Our, our four married kids are big time into it, and the grandkids are going to start when they get older. And I, I think a lot of those people were up all night because of that stuff, too. But my, <laughs> yeah, David, I understand. Uh, like I said, here, here a couple of weeks ago, I guess it may have been three weeks by now, uh, we had one of those hamming in the, in the park events. Uh, uh, three or four of us had, had drug our various radios out there. And uh, there, there's a big bicycle trail at this particular park, and, uh, and it was another nice, uh, sunshiny, warm day, uh, perfect for just uh, going out and playing radio. And we had more people uh, come up to us and ask, what is that, and what are you doing? And, uh, yeah, and a whole lot of them were the younger kids, you know, the, the iPhone, iPad generation, and, uh, and they actually seemed uh, incredibly fascinated that uh, the only thing it took to talk uh, to the other side of the planet was uh, a chunk of wire and a battery and uh, this strange thing called a ham radio. Roger? Victor Echo 3, Bravo Lima Bravo, Alpha Echo 5, November Whiskey. David, I agree with you 100%. Uh, in fact, that's uh, something that our local amateur radio club is trying to get together here in about a week or two is uh, our first uh, sit down and learn CW class for uh, the folks that have been telling us that they really want to sit down and try. And uh, we have uh, several uh, newly minted hams here as of late and, uh, and, and some young ones at that, which is, uh, which is nice to see. Uh, because I, I like to see the, the younger folks coming into the hobby still. Like I said, especially in this, this day and age of uh, the internet and instant gratification and where all you have to do is just push a button and, and wow, you know, you're talking to the other side of the planet and that's all well and good until that all breaks. And, uh, and you know, one of the perfect examples of that right now is, well, all you got to do is look at the eastern coast of the United States still. And, uh, you know, hey, you know, <laughs> for a whole bunch of those folks, the Internet doesn't work right now. And, uh, and, and so it, it, we're, we're trying to, to keep the spark alive and foster the interest uh, for some of these youngins that are coming in. QSL? Understood, understood. Well, you know what? That, that, that's hardcore for the hobby right there. And, uh, and, and that's wanting to get, in, get on the air and, and, and play pretty, pretty hard. And uh, David, I don't know if you can tell in the background right now, there's a, there's a train uh, blowing his horn pretty well. Uh, I'm, I'm not too, too terribly far from the track, so you, you may be getting a, uh, a bit of the uh, train whistle uh, coming at you. QSL? Thank <laughs> you. 
Ah, uh, yeah, David, I understand. There's, uh, I don't know, there, there's, uh, there's something special, I guess, about trains that appeal to uh, a special breed. And uh, I know we've got a, a couple of train buffs uh, in our club here, and uh, there's another fellow that I've known for a long time that uh, is, a, is a big train fanatic. And, uh, and I don't know why. It, it, it's kind of weird to, to hear one of these uh, old diesel locomotives uh, crank up from a cold start, uh, you know, that hasn't been started for a while. And, and uh, it's weird how to some people that that's actually kind of a form of music, Roger. <laughs> yeah, VE3 BLB, AE5 and W. Uh, well, David, I, I remember when I was probably three or four years old, uh, there, there's a little town here in Arkansas called Scott, and, uh, and they used to, uh, to run the trains and, uh, and, and, and bring you on board and, and give you an old-fashioned uh, steam engine uh, train ride. And it's, uh, it's been a very, very long time, probably, oh, 35 easily 35 36 years uh, since I've been on a steam engine I was I was a wee wee lad when that happened and uh, I've, I've just not had that opportunity again yet but uh, but maybe one of these days though uh, every once in a while they they bring one of the uh, old steam engines through and uh, and, it, and it stops at various points through the state here and uh, folks get to come out and take a look at it and in fact that happened here not not, not too uh, terribly long ago probably a couple of months and, uh, and for the life of me right now I cannot remember the number of that engine uh, but it's it's one of the few remaining right now Roger Yeah, Roger, Roger, David, fine business. That, uh, well, I tell you what, the, the, the <laughs> yeah, I, I'm amazed here at times. Also, uh, like you say, what, what, just the, the, the bare minimum will, will get done for you. And uh, the, the band did shift a little bit on you. You kind of went down into the noise, but then you, you climbed right back on top of it again, and, uh, and it, it's doing pretty good for you again right now. Well, I tell you what, here, uh, here a little bit later today. Um, uh, I had a, uh, I've got a little uh, digital uh, camera running here, a little video camera uh, that's catching uh, part of this QSO because I, I forgot to turn it on uh, earlier, and uh, and I'll probably have uh, that posted on uh, YouTube later, and uh, and that will that will show you the, the the little setup that I've got going here, and uh, like I say, just a little folding table and the the rig uh, plopped up on top of it, and I've got a little uh, little lead acid battery here uh, that's uh, that's my whole power supply. And, uh, and I've got the laptop out here right now, so I can run uh, lookups uh, lookups against QRZ, and uh, just enjoying a little bit of fresh air right now, and uh, you know while I can before the weather turns nasty. And uh, so, uh, uh, if you want to find that later, uh, just go to uh, go to YouTube and uh, look up my channel, which is Alpha Echo Five November Whiskey. It, it would just be YouTube slash uh, AE Five and W. Uh, but it, or you can just search for it. It's easy enough to find, and uh, that'll probably be on there a little bit later for uh, your your uh, your viewing pleasure, Roger. Yeah, 
BLB, Alpha Echo 5, November Whiskey. Well, fine business, David, and I tell you what, I appreciate the QSO. It, it was definitely fun, and uh, and it was very enjoyable uh, to have an actual conversation, uh, something other than, hey, you're 5'9", uh, thanks for calling, uh, next person, please. So, uh, you know, it, that's all well and good, and sometimes that's very fun to get in and get out and move on to the next one, but every once in a while, it's nice to uh, to prop up your feet, as it were, and actually uh, and have a, a conversation for a little while. Uh, so uh, pleasure on this end, and uh, hopefully we'll meet you again uh, here somewhere down the road. And uh, Victor Echo 3, Bravo Lima Bravo, this is Alpha Echo 5, November Whiskey uh, 7-3. And uh, I guess that's uh, that's it. We'll uh, stick a fork in it and call it done. AE5 and W clear. Yeah, just about right. Yeah, well, 17 is really a gentleman's band. There's a lot of rights in uh, I should have been on this band years ago. It's just the last two months that I've been on here at all. The rest of the time is from the 80, 75, 80, 160, and 40. That's it. Never even go on 20. Take care. See you, Pat. BEC, BLB. I'm shutting down. You can have the frequency. I'm going, okay? <laughs> Okay, David. Well, I, I appreciate it. I, I'm probably going to uh, to call it done as well. I've, I've got a uh, a meeting to go to here in about uh, well about an hour, and uh, and so I got to go inside and take care of a couple of things and uh, probably clean up a bit, and then I got to hit the road. So that that's perfect timing. Perfect timing. Uh, Victor Echo Three, Bravo Lima, Bravo Alpha Echo Five, November Whiskey, clear and seven three. Back up again. Bye bye. Everybody else around. I gotta go, guys. Bye bye. <laughs> that was fun. Go KX3. Go, go, gadget, peanut whistle. 